What's up guys, it's Mikkel, and today we're going to be getting into Mark Forge. For those of you who don't know, I'm a biomedical engineer for a Fortune 500 company, so I'm very familiar with 3D printing and the importance of 3D printing. Mark Forge is a printer that I personally use, and so that's kind of why I want to talk about it and the stock. So for those of you who don't know, 3D printing is very important for engineering facilities because it allows you to make parts on demand ASAP. I'm pretty much using a 3D printer 24-7 every week to keep parts constantly coming in. It prevents you from having to buy parts from different manufacturers, pay absurd machining prices and all kinds of other stuff when you can just print a quick prototype on demand. It allows you to get parts that you might have to outsource right every time because you can experiment with it before you have to put in a massive order. 3D printing is pretty much critical for any engineering facility and it's going to only become more important as time goes on. The big thing 3D printing adds is something called additive manufacturing as you see right here and that is different from uh, subtraction, subtractive manufacturing where, part, where a block of material is taken, material is taken away from a block to create a final part. In this method, it's actually added, which actually makes it more efficient to produce uh, different fixtures and products. So, Mark Forge is uh, special because they actually have some of the best 3D printing software of any 3D printing uh, company that I've really dealt with. The Mark Forge platform automatically updates uh, all their material. They have AI that does feedback on the part you print so you can actually interact so your prints actually get better and better with time which is one of the best parts about it. Also if we scroll down to the bottom we can see all the people that they work with and they have a very impressive list of companies. I mean if you see Google, Raytheon, Volkswagen, the US Air Force, I mean these are no small partners. And these are really the early stages of 3D printing. A lot of people thought back in the day that 3D printing, everyone was going to have a 3D printer in their house and we were just going to 3D print everything we needed. That really was never the case and was never really what it meant to be. Instead, these massive companies are going to have hundreds of 3D printers at their facilities so that they can constantly be pumping out new parts and don't have to go out of house to produce them. Um, one of the most important things about Mark Forge and why they're kind of special is their software. So not only do you have a hardware gener a hardware company, but they stick you with the software after where you get reoccurring revenues. And I think we'll see that in the financials, and I'm kind of excited because this is the first company we can actually jump into some financials with. If they were only producing hardware, I would not be nearly as interested in the company. But because they have AI to make their parts better, as well as reoccurring revenues on the software, I think this is, has some real potential. And I don't even think it's that overvalued like a lot of SPACs mostly are right now. So we're going to jump in, and before we get into the revenue and other stuff, uh, I just wanted to let you know that they have all kinds of different printers. You can print in steel, copper, a whole bunch of different metals, their own kind of plastic, carbon fiber. And I personally use this carbon fiber one right now, and you could use that for literally production level car parts. It's some of the strongest material 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 you have ever dealt with and it's really good for really any kind of purpose. So we're gonna jump in. Something pretty cool to kind of validate the company. I love when I go to a white screen, I literally look like a ghost. But <laughs> Kathy Wood has actually been buying Mark Forge and we can look at uh, that she's actually been adding aggressively. So it's not just me, there's actual smart people buying the stock. So it's definitely something you can consider for that aspect alone. If we go to the investor presentation, then we can see some really good stuff here. We can see that Mark Forge is growing very fast and, it can, and they expect to keep growing very fast for years to come. You can see right here that they got hit hard, very hard by COVID, so it brought down the revenue growth a lot. But when they, they plan to keep on accelerating, back to the pace they had been before, which is around 76 to 80%. You can see the total revenue has stayed flat over the COVID years because a lot of companies were forced to cut back on their R&D research. That may seem like an issue at the moment, but really it's just creating a very good buying opportunity if you actually believe in the company. 
And if these financials are true and they're not lying, which I personally don't think they are because it's a very reputable company, then this company could be overvalued if you're looking at a 24, 25 year, 20, year 2024 or year 2025 basis. Something that's very important, and this is where you can see the software margin showing up, is that they're actually looking at margins right now in the 40% range for EBITDA and for gross profit in the 60% range. This is kind of showing that they do have a large software uh, aspect driving a lot of these gross profits in EBITDA. Typically hardware companies, you'd see a lot lower. So that's kind of what makes them special. Once they get you on their printer, they get you stuck on the software. Once you get used to the system, you don't want to leave and you have everything ingrained in this Iger software is what they call it. And you kind of just get stuck there, which is kind of what makes it sort of sticky company. Plus a lot of these printers, you can, ho you can actually hook them all up together and create a whole 3D printing studio. This just gives all incentivized people to stay in the Mark Forge system and keep using their printers. We're going to jump to something else now, which is something that not a lot of investors look about, look at, but something I find really important. If we look at the three last three months of 2021, it increased six million dollars from the last three months of 2020. Why am I showing you this if we just looked at revenue? Well, you can actually look at this thing right here, which is cost of revenue, and this is something I like to see. Here we see cost of revenue only increased by a million five hundred thousand, while the actual revenue increased about six million. I like to see this because it means that Mark Forge isn't going around just getting all their revenue through marketing. People actually like the product and they're creating organic revenue growth based off the revenue they're putting into the company. I think this is really important because a lot of SPACs that went on the market recently They've released this exact page right here and you see a $10 million growth in revenue and a $15 million growth in cost of revenue. It's like, wow, I gave you, I gave you $1.50 so you could make a dollar. It doesn't really make any sense. So this is something that's pretty important and why you always kind of have to come back to the financials. I personally am not a financial stickler. I don't dive into it that much, but it's good to at least hit on the major things because you don't want to see companies that are losing insane amounts of money and turns out all the revenue is driven by advertising. Um, for the last thing I'm going to get into, and I'll be doing more videos on Mark Forge in the future. This is a brand new company. I'm just introducing it and pretty much any company I put on here just means I will bring it up more in the future. Mark Forge stock is currently at $8. It's been absolutely hammered. I bought it around here, a small position around $9. Um, I'm in no rush. To be adding a crazy amount right now the next stop if we ever if we got to around the six level i'd be adding another lot and then we'd have to see it from there currently the market cap of the company is 1.64 billion i'm not entirely sure if this number is completely accurate we'll see if yahoo finance has the same number yet yeah, they do so this should be accurate 1.6 billion if you look back to their investor presentation by end of year 2022 they're looking to have 122 million. So that's about a price to sales of 10 for a software company. It's pricey, but you're getting a high growth. So it's not horrible. If you start looking at end of year 2024 and 2025, you could be getting a steal. So the more this valuation comes down, and if it comes anywhere near, let's see, maybe the $5, which would put it at less than a billion market cap valuation, then I think you're getting an absolute steal. I'm not gonna be selling anything, I'm gonna keep building my position because I do like this company a lot and I believe in it. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'll get into Mark Forge some more if there's interest in the comments. If not, we'll probably just go over stocks like this probably once a quarter, keep up with them, see how they're doing, see if anything crazy's happening. But until then, it's just watching the stock and seeing if we can get it at some cheaper prices. I don't really care where it goes in the short term because I know in the long term, this is a great company in the 3D printing space. And I think it's good to have some 3D printing exposure because if you've seen Kathy Wood's big ideas, 3D printing is one of them. So you can either go for her print ETF or you could pick a leader in the industry. And I think Mark Forge has the capability to really emerge as a leader almost based on their partners alone. 
So anyway, guys, thank you so much for coming. Subscribe, and I'll catch you next time for the next video. See ya.